international students in the USA. Holiday Scenarios As an international student, the holidays can be lonely, or you may just end up having the best time of your life. It can be a unique opportunity to experience new traditions and connect with others in ways different from what you are used to in your home country. There are a lot of ways to enjoy yourself with friends and fellow students. Learn about different cultures, foods, and history wherever you are studying. The holidays can be a great time to expand on your entire experience. Things to do for the holidays If you are not returning home for the holidays or your own holidays fall during a different time period, you can really get on an educational adventure outside of your regular studies. Host a potluck This is one of my personal favorites. Each year my friends who were also international students and I came together and celebrated the holidays like a big family. I often hosted the gatherings either at my apartment or booked a reservation at a local restaurant or venue. I always thought of these gatherings as a culturally enriching luxury since I had the opportunity to taste a diverse menu while enjoying a fun night with fellow expats. The tradition leaves on till this day, and there are new faces that join us each year. I definitely encourage you to either host or join a potluck near you. Attend sporting events Regardless of where you are studying, there will be a sporting event you can watch. This is a great way to get a better understanding of the area you are living in and what people do for fun and entertainment. While soccer will most likely be your first choice in the U.S. and increasingly during winter, hockey games are popular on every level, from the National Hockey League down to the local Pee Wee team. You can cheer on the team either locally and perhaps see a few of hockey's future stars. Figure skating, ice skating, curling, skiing, all of these are available to watch or to participate in. The local rink might have beginner skating and you may even get to take a few lessons. If you live near an Olympic training center, make arrangements to go and watch the athletes in training. There are usually tours you can book to check out the entire facility. Local art scene. Live theater is both entertaining and educational. If you are unfamiliar with a lot of American playwrights, then see if you can find something near you. Many theaters have student discounts and also either half-price tickets or PWIC, pay what you can. Concerts you will be glad you checked out, Christmas carolers, the opera, these are all happening in some city where you are or nearby. Even the local second-run theater will be running current movies for a discount. You can find out a lot about the city you are living in and the USA by visiting local museums. If you live in a larger city, then you should also be able to see exhibitions by world-famous artists. Local artists need love too, so make sure you make a point of seeing some shows that are being mounted around town. They are often free or PWIC, and you can see some stunning work. Volunteer If you believe in the power of giving, give your time by volunteering. While a lot of people volunteer to help with a dinner for the homeless on Christmas Day, these places need help year-round. You can help them sort donations, help deliver food and clothing packages to people who may be elderly or shut in due to illness. You may want to stop by the local senior center to read, play music, or just chat. Another place that will always be happy for some extra help is your local animal shelter. You can play with the animals, help with feedings, take the dogs for a walk, and just keep them company. You can also volunteer for special holiday events that are going on. A Santa Claus parade, local concert, Christmas pageant, and other large events that have a big budget and depend on volunteers. Volunteering is a great way to meet new people who have the same interests as you do. If English is not your first language, it is a great way to get exposure and learn more outside of your classroom. Work or apply for potential jobs or internships. As an F1 student with limited work options, you may want to consider working as part of your holiday bucket list. 
While on-campus jobs might be limited due to the holiday break, a key advantage here is that the places that remain open to serve students taking winter classes might need an extra hand as they could be understaffed. Inquire about these openings and you could be on your way for some extra cash. Even if your English is not great and you don't have a lot of experience, there are still plenty of jobs you can do. As an international student on an F1 visa, your time is limited in this area and using it wisely will take you a long way. Note that I am by no means encouraging you to burn out. Act on the following only if you have the energy and keeping a good activity balance in mind. Take a break if you feel that you need one. Self-care always comes first. If you are authorized to take off-campus employment as an international student, and depending on which of the following situations you find yourself in, if you are already working, offer to help on extra projects or assignments. With everyone going on a break, your team could definitely use a hand, mainly if deadlines are involved. Also by doing this, you take the opportunity to demonstrate your skills to your employer, as you may be helping on assignments that might not be part of your normal line of work. This is your chance, own it. Don't be afraid to ask. If you have a work permit for OPT or CPT, but still looking for a job, winter break is the perfect time to continue searching and applying. If you have been on this stage of the journey for a while, you probably already know the rejection letter script by heart. My personal advice is to not give up, keep your chin up, your smile wide, and your hopes up. Working during the winter break might not sound as glamorous, but it can have a strong impact on your professional future. Besides, you can use the money for an extra gift for yourself or a friend, or even cover school expenses. Things to keep in mind. If you are already a student at the university, then why not take a class, either from your academic curriculum? If the course is available and you have the funds, taking winter or summer classes can extremely shorten your time to graduation, considering this is something you want. Or you may take a class on another platform or venue that is completely different from what you are studying. There are so many options and you may find something you absolutely love. If you need help with your English, there are classes for that. And if you don't, try a class learning a different language. It's a great way to expand your skills and meet great people. Perhaps you have a love of food. You could take a class on baking or cooking, horticulture and learn how to grow your own food, or even something more specialized, like a sommelier's class. There may be other interests, like art, history, public speaking, acting, writing, and so many others. Pick up a continuing education calendar at your school and check out the part-time classes. Don't be sad about not going back home for the holidays. Take full advantage of everything your city has to offer. There is no better education than living in a new place. Walk around, look at lights and decorations, and take in the wonder that is all around you. Your education extends past your classroom. If you've made it this far, congratulations on taking up your study abroad journey to the next level by learning with our videos. For more information, please visit our website fstudentlife.org. If you like this video, hit the like button, and if you want more videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get the latest updates.